A community meeting filled the Painesville High School Auditorium with a sense of healing, support, and renewed hope in the Jacob Wetterling case. But I refuse to be silenced because there's way more good people than bad in the world, and we need our voices. Patty and Jerry Wetterling formed the community event called A Night of Sharing and Healing to connect with residents whose lives have been changed since Jacob's disappearance on October 22, 1989. I want to find Jacob, and I focus that on 100% of my energy on finding Jacob and working to build the, the world that he knew and believed in. 52-year-old Daniel Heinrich, who was a resident of Painesville at the time of Jacob's abduction, was named a person of interest in the case back in October. Patty Wetterling says they have heard of Heinrich's name, but he was one of thousands who were considered leads. We knew about him from the beginning. Jerry and I had heard his name from the very beginning, but he was one of 40,000 leads. Between 1986 and 1988, there were multiple incidents in which young males were physically or sexually assaulted in Painesville. Jerry Wetterling says they had a chance to speak with several of the Painesville victims about two years ago and learn how these events still affect them. We learned a lot from the pain of these victims, not only to themselves, but how it affects their families, relationships, people that they come into contact with all the time. Patty Wetterling says they will continue to search for Jacob and knows the community of Painesville is ready to help in any way they can. And it was really nice for me to shine a light on the good people in Painesville who, who want to have a better, brighter future than what, what has been in the news lately. Heinrich faces unrelated child pornography charges after a search warrant found 19 binders full of photos of naked young boys and videotapes in his Annandale home. Reporting from Painesville, Alex Wykowski, WJON News.